For those who missed the live action in the UFC 256, here are the full card results. Featherweight prospect Chase Hooper looked like a seasoned veteran in the opener, as he scored a come from behind third round submission win over New England's Peter Barrett. Hooper moves to 10 to 1 and 1 with the win. Barrett falls to 11 to 5. In the women's divisions, strawweight contender Tisha Torres impressed in her bout against late replacement Sam Hughes, stopping the newcomer in a single round. Torres moves to 12 and 5 with a win. Hughes, who replaced Angela Hill, falls to 5 and 2. The Canadian gave in Tucker prevent Billy Quarantillo to continue his winning streak in the featherweight divisions, as he scored a three-round unanimous decision victory. In the third, Tucker takedowns were the deciding factor as he was able to neutralize Quarantillo enough to live with the victory. Lightweight prospect Rafael Fiziev was in fighting form in his bout against Renato Moicano, halting his veteran foe in the first round. A beautiful combination rocks Moicano and sent him into the canvas. Referee Chris Tornoni stepped in and halted the fight at the 4 5 mark of round 1. Veterans Cobb Swanson and Daniel Pineda put on a show in their featherweight bout, with Swanson delivering an emphatic second-round knockout to emerge victorious in his first bout since October 2019. Swanson's right hand kept landing in round 2 that caught Pineda down hard to the deck. Swanson wants to throw some strikes but the referee halted the fight at 1-52 in of the second round. And for the main card, Cyril Gain ended the year on a high note as he stepped former heavyweight champion Junior Dos Santos in the second round. Kane was so busy in the first round throwing some kicks to the leg and the body of Dos Santos midway through the stanza. A right hand hurt the Brazilian and a follow-up elbow sent Dos Santos to the canvas, bringing in referee Jerry Velil to stop the fight at the 2 and 34 mark of round 2. In the middleweight action, Kevin Holland made an impressive UFC career as he won 5 fights in a year. Trailblazers knocked out the veteran Akari Souza in the first round. Souza scored a takedown, but Holland got back to his feet after landing some hard elbows. Souza stayed black on to the Texan and put him back on the mat, but he rocks the Brazilian with the right hand. A few more followed and just like that, the fight was over. The official time of referee Mark Smith's stoppage was 1 and 45 of round 1. With a win, the number 15 rank Holland moves to 21 to 5, Sosa falls to 26 and 9, to 9 and 1 and no contest. Show it contender Mackenzie Dern and Verna Handiroba battled it out for 3 rounds, with Dern pounding out a hard fought unanimous decision victory. The Jiu Jitsu Black Belts kept it standing in the 5 minutes and controlling most of the action until Handiroba began finding her rhythm late in the frame. All three judges saw it, 29-28 for the number 11 ranked turn, now 10-1, that number 13 ranked Handiroba falls to 16-2. And, and for the lightweight action, Brazilian lightweight contender Charles Oliveira secures a three-round unanimous decision victory over former interim champion Tony Ferguson in the UFC 256 co-main event. Oliveira nearly finishes the fight in the last minute of the opening round as he attempts an armbar, but Ferguson was so tough and endured the pain and did not top until the buzzer. With his arm, Ferguson tries to turn things around but he was soon taken down by Oliveira and controls matters on the mat until the end of the frame. The number 7 rank Oliveira, now 30-8 to and won no contest. The number 3 rank Ferguson falls to 26-5. to And for the main event, the action between flyweight champion Davison Figueredo and Brandon Moreno ends up with the majority draw. A point deduction cost UFC flyweight champion Davison Figueredo a victory in his UFC 256 main event against Brandon Moreno. But in an epic 5 round fight of the year candidate, he retained his title for the second time by a way of a majority draw. The two fighters gave their best and showed their skills after exchanging strikes and takedowns. But in round 2, the momentum was lost when Moreno was poked in the eye and bringing a momentary stop to the bop. As a result, the official gave the champion a point deduction. Moreno is aiming to become the first Mexican champion, urge a rematch.
And that's all for your TFC 256 results. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe.